Man, there sure are a lot of big buildings around here. That's because this is the warehouse district. Cargo from foreign countries is kept here for safekeeping. I see. Kind of depressing place, though. Seems really lonely and desolate. Well, since the advent of airships, not much cargo is transported by sea anymore. So these warehouses don't get a lot of new shipments these days. Yeah, that makes sense. Looks like some of the warehouses are abandoned, too. What's a bunch of little kids doing here? Hey, this place is off limits. You brats ain't getting in, so scram. We never even said we wanted to come in. Why do you look so nervous? You can tell? Never mind, you're not allowed here. Just go already. I think we may need to handle this one with some care. Well, he's sure acting strange. I wonder what's up with him. Hold it, you lot. Who, us? Well, well, must be our lucky day. Not too many women folk come round these parts. You're a real sight for sore eyes. And what business have you here? <laughs> oh, this and that. We've been here for quite a while, actually. If you honey's got time to spare, how about you entertain us, huh? I, uh, are you seriously trying to pick up girls in an empty old warehouse lot? Sorry, but we have plans already. You know, places to go, things to see. So yeah, not interested. Feel free to go away now. Oh, check it out. I like tough women. I'll take all the abuse you can dish. If your goal is to creep me out even more, consider your mission accomplished. Hey, you know, if you ladies are playing tourists, then maybe we can show you around, huh? You can ditch that little kid with you. We'll have some fun. Hey now, who are you calling a little kid? Punks like you shouldn't take on Joshua if you- Hey, it's okay, Estelle. It doesn't bother me. What good is getting angry going to do? But- Aww, oh, you holding back for our sake, kid? How sweet. Where does this brat get off hanging out with two hotties? <laughs> I think he needs a lesson in just how unfair life can be, don't you think? Just a second. Please stop. If my presence has somehow offended you, then I apologize. But if you lay a finger on the ladies, I'll make certain that you regret it. What? Just who do you think you are? He's just bluffing. I get that you want to look all cool in front of the ladies, but you're about to experience a world of pain. What do you think you're doing? Eh? Oh great, another nuisance. I can't believe you guys would start again with this delinquency. You're old enough to know better. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Sh shut up. What do you care what we do? You're just one of the mayor's yes-men. How dare you denigrate my work? Dalmore. Bah. Who's that? He's way too well dressed for this part of town. That's Dalmore, the mayor of Ruan. And the younger one is Gilbert, his private secretary, I think. Ruan has been a free city. I have no intention of lodging a complaint about your manner of speech or your attire. But bothering outsiders who may be paying guests is not permissible. Stuff it, old man. You think you're such a big shot? We ain't interested in a thing you have to say. How dare you speak to my mayor in such a fashion? How would you like for us to report you to the Bracer Guild again? Bracer Schmacer, always hiding behind them. Can't you do anything on your own? Besides, it's not like the Bracers would get here anyway. We have plenty of time to enjoy the altercation. And then we'd be gone without a trace before anyone was the wiser. I hate to ruin your masterful plan, but I'm afraid we're already here. Wait, what? Man, you still haven't seen the badges? Maybe you guys need glasses or something. That's beautiful. Oh crap. You guys are bracers. So wait, this little punk you're with is also a bracer, yes. What do we do now? I can't believe it. That little squirt is actually a bracer. 
You're actually worried? Even if they are bracers, it's just a couple of girls and some kid. Come on, you can't judge a book by its cover, you know? You remember what happened the last time we took on the chick bracer? Even with three people, she wiped the floor with us. Going against two bracers, even if they do look like pipsqueaks, is nothing like a good idea. Okay, we're gonna let you off the hook. For now. If we see you again, though, you're in for some real pain. Catch you later. Some weirdos. Jeez, now those were punks. I mean, couldn't they be any more stereotypical? <laughs> no harm done. Don't we have somewhere we need to be? I must apologize. I loathe when our city guests are bothered. Forgive my lack of an introduction. I am Dalmor, Mayor of Ruan, and this is my steward, Gilbert. A pleasure, I'm sure. You're Bracers, are you not? Yep, I'm Estelle from Roland, and I'm Joshua, also from Roland. Jean did mention some promising new faces soon to arrive. Might he have been referring to you, perchance? Well, I don't know about the promising part, but yeah, I think he meant us. We came to Ruan in search of work, actually. How delightful! We've had some hard times of late, you see, so any help we can get is simply wonderful. I'm sure your presence here will be a great boon to us. Hard times? What do you mean? Well, Jean would be the one best to supply the details. As an aside, is that a campus uniform I spy, young lady? Uh, yes, yes, sir. I'm Chloe Renz. I'm a second year student at the Royal Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charmed. Dean Collins is a friend of mine, actually. Didn't you graduate from the Royal Academy yourself, Gilbert? Yes, sir. You said your name was Chloe. I've heard a great deal about you. You ran against Jill for head of student council, right? You must be proud to have been a contender as a junior. Oh, you flatter me, sir. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the campus festival. I trust you'll be giving your all to help make it memorable. Yes, sir, I absolutely will. Well, I think we'd best be going. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. It is my duty, as mayor of Ruan, to ensure that these streets are safe for tourists and residents alike. Well, he was certainly a dignified one. Yes, indeed. His manner and actions were perfectly suited to the mayor of a city. House Dalmore is made up of a long line of well-bred aristocrats. Though we no longer have real nobles, he's about as close as it gets. Wow, it's like he's from a totally different world. On the other hand, though, you still have all those lowlifes, like the guys who tried hitting on us. Yes, that was quite unsettling. I'm very sorry for leading you into such a place unprepared. No need to apologize. It's not like we sought them out or anything. We should probably keep our distance from the back end of the warehouse district, though, to avoid any further altercations. Hmm. Well, I don't like being restricted like that, but whatever. Okay. I think it's time to get back out of here. Ha! Huh, come on in. Welcome to the Bracer Guild. Oh, Miss Rents. Good afternoon, Jean. Are you here for another extermination request? I know. Security's been tightened for the campus festival. No. But I'm sure we'll be here for that at some point. Today I'm just visiting with Estelle and Joshua. Oh, I see. So they're civilians, are they? I suppose I should have known by the lack of student attire. Wait! Those emblems! Pleased to meet you. I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. And I'm Joshua, also a Junior Bracer. Oh, so you're Estelle and Joshua! Wow, it's so good that you're here! We've been waiting for you ever since we got word from the Bose branch. Ah, old man Legrand must have sent word of us. We'll have to thank him. My name is Jean. I'm the receptionist for the Ruan branch. I'll be supervising you two, as well as providing various types of support. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. The pleasure's all ours. Indeed, it's good to meet you, sir. Ha <laughs> ha, I have high hopes for you two. After all, you are the ones who so magnificently handled the Sky Bandit incident. Sky Bandits? You mean the... You mean that incident in Bows? I read about it in the latest liberal news. Did you guys really sort that whole mess? Well, we just helped a little. 
It was the Royal Army that really did the work of apprehending them. Don't be so modest! Legrand had nothing but praise for you! Now to change your assignment, I'll need you to sign the appropriate forms. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. Um, okay. Might as well get it out of the way. Alright, the two of you are now part of the Ruan branch. Welcome aboard! We've been so busy, we couldn't have picked a better time for you to come. Haha! <laughs> now you can't get away! Why do I feel like I just signed my life away? It looks like you're as short-handed as we've heard. Is it something in particular that's going on? I wouldn't say that exactly. We were expecting a member of the royal family to visit, though. A member of the royal family? Whoa, you aren't talking about the queen, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. I just know that it's someone of royal blood. I've heard that he or she will be giving Ruan a thorough inspection, though. That's kind of cool. But why would that cause you to be so short-staffed? Because it's a member of the royal family! If even one thing is out of place, Mayor Dalmore would be worried sick! So most of our staff was requisitioned to help strengthen security. I get it. That's what was being discussed. Policing the streets, right? Yes. I feel certain that the crew at the harbor will be back in action pretty quickly. I want the city to be hooligan-free during the royal visit. Crew at the harbor? You mean the guys we dealt with earlier? I had a feeling they were up to something. What? You Do you know something? Actually. Ah, oh, yes, the warehouse district. That's the turf of a rather unsavory group calling themselves the Ravens. I imagine you encountered some young men and their leader there. I wonder what those Raven characters are up to. They've been fine until recently. Whoever's in charge needs to tighten the leash. The mayor's main concern, though, is that we cover the whole area. And that's why we're so short-staffed right now. Thank goodness you two are here. Well, it's nice to feel wanted. I guess that means we got a lot of helping out to do tomorrow. If anything happens, just say the word. We'll help. I will. Thank you. Wow, it's already evening. Look at the gorgeous sunset. That it is. All the light shines off the streets. I've always loved it, too. It's almost time. For what? is a masterpiece. How long does it stay up? 30 minutes, I believe. It's raised in the early morning just before noon and in the evening, and it isn't lowered again until all ships have passed. I see. So, when there's usually no foot traffic. I admit, it's easy for a first-timer to get confused. That reminds me. What are you guys planning to do about lodging? Hmm, well, the second floor of the guild is always an option. Although I could really go for a luxurious hotel. Well, then I think you might want to hurry and get a room. This is tourist season, so they tend to fill up pretty quickly. Alright, no time like the present then. Well, I think I'm going to turn in this job that I have for the guild. And we're going to wrap it up. Okay guys, that should do it for this episode. So let's wrap things up here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And until then, stay tuned.